Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will discuss about phosphoric acid fuel cell. That is another type of the fuel cell. As you know already that fuel cell is the electro, uh, electrochemical device that convert chemical energy from the reactants directly into electricity and heat. The device consists of an electrolyte layer in contact with the porous anode and cathode on either side. This figure shows that is the uh, porous anode and cathode and this is the catalyst layer. So on the anode side hydrogen is provided which in the presence of catalyst decompose into hydrogen ion and the electron. Electron is passing through the external circuit. Hydrogen ion is passing through the electrolyte reaches the cathode. On the cathode side that is also porous and uh, on cathode side oxygen is provided that oxygen combined with the hydrogen ion coming from the electrolyte and electron coming from the outer circuit and form water. So in phosphoric acid fuel cell for uh, phosphoric acid use uh, as the electrolyte. Its efficiency range uh, from 40 to 80 percent and our operating temperature is between 150 to 200 degrees Celsius. Existing phosphoric acid cells have output up to 200 kilowatt. Phosphoric acid fuel cell tolerate a carbon monoxide concentration of about 1.5 percent which broadens the choice of fuels they can use. If gasoline is used, the sulfur must be removed. Platinum electrode catalysts are needed and internal parts must be able to withstand the corrosive acid. They are 85% efficient when used for the cogeneration of electricity and heat but less efficient at generating electricity alone 37 to 42%. Now the construction um, of the phosphoric acid fuel cell. Uh, the phosphoric acid fuel cell itself consists of a pair of porous electrodes, the fuel electrode and air electrode formed from mainly carbon material between which is placed an electrolyte layer consisting of a matrix impregnated with highly concentrated phosphoric acid solution. Anode is PTFE bonded platinum black, cathode is PTFE bonded platinum platinum black. The catalytic layer of the electrodes where reactions take place consists of the carbon material, minute metal catalyst particles and water repellent material in a construction such that the reaction gas is supplied and the electrolyte retained effectively. So this figure shows the uh, function or the working principle that uh, hydrogen ion is passing through the electrolyte moving from anode to the cathode side and at cathode side uh, with combination of oxygen and the electron they form water which is um, released outside and here uh, this is the uh, fuel on this side fuel is um, provided hydrogen uh, then the this is the interconnect, then anode, then electrolyte layer, then cathode, and then here air is provided. So in this way, this is the uh, picture description of the fuel cell. Now the features of the phosphoric acid fuel cell. The phosphoric acid fuel cell do not suffer the carbon dioxide induced electrolyte degeneration seen in alkaline fuel cells and so can use reformed gas derived from fossil fuels though expensive platinum catalyst is necessary in order to promote the electrode reactions thus it can make use of city gas that is na uh, natural gas based and other existing fuel infrastructure however when carbon monoxide exist at high concentrations as in coal gasified gas the platinum catalyst used in electrodes is poisoned leading to performance degradation so that use of such fuels is impractical without effective means of eliminating carbon monoxide this gives an additional con constraints the operating temperature is about 200 degrees celsius that is almost 473 kelvin 
Phosphoric acid H3PO4 is the only common inorganic acid that has enough thermal stability, chemical and electrochemical stability and low enough volatility about um, above about 150 degrees Celsius to be considered as an electrolyte for fuel cell. Phosphoric acid is a colorless, viscous, hygroscopic liquid. In the phosphoric acid fuel cell, it is contain, con uh, contained by capillary reactions, electrodes and catalysts. Like PEM fuel cell, polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell, the phosphoric acid fuel cell uses gas diffusion electrodes in the mid 1960s the porous electrodes used in the phosphoric acid fuel cell were ptfe bonded platinum black and the loading were about 9 milligram platinum per centimeter square on each electrode since then platinum supported on carbon has replaced platinum black as the electrocatalyst the carbon is bonded with ptfe about 30 to 50 weight percent to form an electrode support structure. Now, uh, this slide shows how it works. The phosphoric acid fuel cell uses a proton conducting electro electrolyte. In the phosphoric acid fuel cell, the electrochemical reaction take place on highly dispersed electrocatalyst particles supported on carbon black. As with the PEM fuel cell, platinum or platinum alloys are used as the catalyst at both electrodes. The electrolyte is an inorganic acid, concentrated phosphoric acid, 100%, which like the membranes in the PEM fuel cell with conduct protons. So this figure shows that hydrogen decomposes into hydrogen ion and the electron electron is moving from the outer circuit hydrogen ion is passing through the electrolyte uh, from anode to the cathode uh, on cathode oxygen is provided this oxygen combined with hydrogen ion and electron and move water uh, make water which is moving outside uh, now some uh, chemical properties first of all the chemical reaction the phosphoric acid in aqueous solution dissociates into phosphate ion and hydrogen ions the hydrogen ion act as the charge carrier phosphoric acid fuel cell decompose into hydrogen ion plus h2po4 phosphoric acid is chemically stable and is easy to handle it also has an extremely low vapor pressure even at an operating temperature of 200 degrees celsius this implies that phosphoric acid in the electrolyte layer cannot be easily discharged from the fuel cell together with the cell exhaust gas, although even such minute discharge results in the degradation of cell performance in the long term. At the fuel electrode, hydrogen reacts at the electrode surface to become hydrogen ion and uh, electrons, and the hydrogen ions migrate towards the air electrode within the electrolyte. So on anode, this is the chemical reaction going to take place. Hydrogen decomposed into hydrogen ion and electron. At the air electrode, the hydrogen ions which have migrated from the fuel electrode, electrons which have passed through the external circuit and oxygen supplied from the outside combined to produce water in the following reaction. Hence, the net fuel cell reaction produces water as follows, hydrogen plus oxygen combined to form water. This figure shows uh, that uh, this is if this is uh, anode, this is the cathode. In between, there is the layer of electrolyte. So this, these are three layers. So on the uh, anode, hydrogen, that is fuel, is uh, supplied, uh, which um, under this chemical reaction changes into hydrogen ion and electron. Hydrogen ion is passing through this electrolyte and electron passing through the external circuit and after passing through the external circuit comes back to a cathode on cathode oxygen is provided usually from air and this oxygen combined with um, electron and hydrogen ion and form water 
Now, uh, some advantages of the phosphoric acid fuel cell. At an operating range of 150 to 200 degrees Celsius, the expelled water can be converted to steam for air and water heating, combined heat and power. This potentially allows efficiency increases of up to 70 percent. Phosphoric acid fuel cell are carbon dioxide tolerant and even can tolerate a carbon monoxide concentration of about 1.5%, which broadens the joys of the fuels they can use. If gasoline is used, the sulfur must be removed. At lower temperature, phosphoric acid is a poor ionic conductor and carbon monoxide poisoning of the platinum electrocatalyst in the anode becomes fewer. However, they are much less sensitive to carbon monoxide than polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell and alkaline fuel cell. Now, there are some disadvantages of the uh, phosphoric acid fuel cell. The electrodes are made of carbon paper coated with a finely dispersed platinum catalyst, which make them expensive to manufacture. So cost is a big factor. Phosphoric acid solidifies at a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius, making startup difficult and restraining uh, polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell to continuous operation. So phosphoric acid fuel cell has a slow, they ha it has a difficulty for startup. Now there are some applications, phosphoric acid fuel cell have been used for stationary applications in a combined heat and power efficiency of about 80% and they continue to dominate an on-site stationary fuel cell market. Major manufacturer of phosphoric acid fuel cell technology include UTC Power, a unit of United Technologies as well as Hydrogen Corporation. Thank you.